Conclusion, Presentation of Financial Statements. The fund submitted financial statements for the audit for audit during the year under review. It was, however, noted that the financial statements did not contain the background information like the academic and professional qualifications, passport size photos of both the committee and key management of the fund. It was also noted that the report of the fund administration committee was signed by a member instead of the committee chair. In addition, the fund accountant did not indicate the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, ISPAC, membership number, contrary to the guidelines as per Public Sector Accounting Standards Board, PSAB, on presentation of financial statements. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Governor, you are written response. <coughs> yeah, Chair, we have taken note of that that in that particular year the county did not have an ISPAC member as the fund accountant. But we have since um, rectified that anomaly and now both the fund accountant and the fund manager are ISPAC members. Okay. Thank you. Uh, auditor. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, the issue is not addressed as it has been earned from the management that they have acknowledged the findings from the auditor. And therefore, uh, we read the Senate. Uh, we read the committee to give guidance as we, f uh, we also follow up on the issue by reviewing the 2023-2024 financial statements which will be brought uh, for our audit review. Thank you. Maybe the the Nelson officer from Treasury, uh, you can tell us what what does the public sector accounting standards say about uh, the the fund accountant? Is it mandatory that he has to be ISPAC or any other accountant who is not ISPAC? Well, thank you, Honorable Chair and members. Uh, the person who, who should sign the financial statement should be an ISPAC member. And if the county and uh, a challenge of getting um, an ISPAC member to sign from the fund, uh, the same could have been signed by the accountant, the end of the accounting unit at the County government, who is an ISPAC member. Does it just disappear in the thin air? Even if you carry out a supplementary budget and say that we are underfunded by 100 million, is the main budget of the county government, does it reflect, is there a second supplementary budget, a supplementary budget to be able to correct that line item? to say this was transferred to other government entities, which is now the emergency fund. And in that main budget, it was 100 million. Was there a main supplementary saying we will reduce it to 82, and then now we send it to here? So those are my concerns. And I think, Auditor, you may need to help us understand that, because that is when funds are misappropriated. That is when money, he said, you know, we had budgeted for this year, but we have some 17 million hanging somewhere. Let's just spend that money. I believe that we all should ensure fiduciary responsibility, and that is why, Mr. Chairman, I agree, and I'd like you to concur with my sentiments that the previous officers ought to be someone to appear before this committee as witnesses so that we can follow through and ensure that the money that belongs to the people of Garissa is used by the people of Garissa. I have a very big problem, uh, Mr. Chairman, with this rural urban migration. You know, if you look at Nairobi, Isili, you'll find probably all the officers who are in the former government and even the current government have properties there. So they are using money that is supposed to be to develop Garissa in Isili. We need to change that. So I hope that Governor, during this time, 
we are going to be extremely diligent. We're going to be looking at all the funds which are there. The other committee on PAC is going to be looking at all executive audits. We're also looking at the assembly's audits. So it's imperative that uh, you let your people know that things have changed. We are scarce of resources. So the little resources we have, we have to utilize them, you know, diligently. And finally, I want to come to Garissa. I want to see uh, the water company. You know, the amount of money that they are spending. I want to ensure that we can go into a house in Garissa and find water, you know, in rural homes. So this time around, things are going to be very different. We have a motion even today, which we want to compel all county governments to pay up to a billion shillings of their pending bills before the end of this financial year. But less we will then compel the controller of budget not to release that money or any exchequer releases. And we found a place in the law because pending bills ought to be the first charge of the account. Even if the constituents say that the transfer of funds to county government shall not be deducted or delayed Given that the pending bill is supposed to be the first charge of account, we now want to engage a discussion with the controller of budget to ensure that when she's getting a, a requisition from the county governments, the first charge should be the pending bills. So that way, under Article 228, she'll be releasing money legally. Others, Mr. Chairman, I thank you. Yeah. In, implement, in implementing the Order General's report, in the subsequent year, funded the emergency account and that is again affirmed by the attached uh, annexures uh, as shown thank you auditor your comments thank you chairman um, again this is an issue which uh, uh, the of the management of the county of the fund, I have acknowledged the finding of the auditor, and to us, we see the issue has not been addressed, and we allow, we let the Senate committee to guide on the way forward. Members. Senator um, uh, You know, Mr. Chairman, one of the problems that I have in terms of even dealing with this query is because of the query that we just dealt with, judiciary responsibility, which is a legal obligation to ensure that public funds are utilized correctly. I concur with the legal counsel that uh, to be able to set an example, we have to make sure that we understand. Having said that, it will also be important for the Auditor General to provide us with a clear audit of the expenditures, line item by line item, so that we can be able to see. And you'll have to do a clear forensic audit whereby you pluck out the emergency fund you see where the, the funds are going, you see who has been paid, and you follow the money trail. Because that's the only way you'll be able to get to the bottom line of this. So Mr. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to submit this as such. Let me hear from uh, Senator Aj on the same line. Uh, Chair, uh, I will not profess to be an expert on the act that they make. Senator has just quoted. Um, I would uh, rather rely on his expertise and believe that um, um, what he has said is, is for the good of um, this committee, for the good of the county, and uh, for the good of the country as a way forward in terms of uh, making sure that uh, officers who are accountable um, adhere to the law. Chair. Thank you. Yeah. Governor, uh, you have any comment on this? I, I, I leave that as I said. 
Okay. You know there are two issues here. There is uh, one issue is uh, non-compliance to the law. Uh, the law says two months after the expenditure, the county assembly has to give approval. So that was violated. And then the second bit is uh, the actual expenditure. Was that money used for the emergency? And what are those emergencies? So uh, I think the is for the auditor to tell us uh, those line expenses. What were they spent for? And uh, was the money spent for emergency items or not? And uh, was the money utilized uh, within the law? I, I think that's what the Senator Nekina uh, was alluding to. So if you do not have the answers now, then we can ask you to go and get the answers and give it to us. Auditor. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, uh, for now, I can just generalize and give an inch of what is usually spent uh, for the emergency. But for the details uh, regarding uh, uh, the transaction, the line items, uh, maybe I can be able to provide within two weeks from this date. Uh, as far as the emergencies are concerned, uh, basically, uh, it's the issue of water tracking and the distribution of food uh, to the people who have been affected by drought uh, during uh, the respective years of expenditure. Thank you. So uh, I will direct that you provide the expenditure items to the details. Uh, and on the basis of that, the committee will look at it and then make a decision whether to uh, summon the former governor and the uh, other officials or not. So I think the best, the first thing is to provide that information to us. Then we'll make that decision. So honorable members, uh, let's now look at the query on uh, budget, budgetary control and performance. And I said this query is recurring for all the years, but we would use uh, 2022 as a base year. Auditor. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'm reading from the report of the Auditor General on Garissa County Emergency. In, implement, in implementing the Auditor General's report, in the subsequent year, funded the emergency account. And that is, again, affirmed by the attached uh, annexures uh, as shown. Thank you. Auditor, your comments. Thank you, Chairman. Um, again, this is an issue which uh, uh, the, uh, the management of the county of the fund have acknowledged the finding of the auditor. And to us, we see the issue has not been addressed. And we, allow, we let the Senate committee to guide on the way forward. Members? Senator Olekin? Um, uh, you know, Mr. Chairman, one of the problems that I have in terms of even dealing with this query is because of the query that we just dealt with. And also you look at that same, same query we are looking at. There's this figure of 82,106,809. Yet the money they received was 80 million. How do you get to that? You've only received 80, but you've spent 82. The budget was supposed to be 100. Did they get that from the sky or from Jupiter or where? The extra two million. I'm trying to understand. 
Uh, thank okay. you, Chairman. Maybe, maybe if I can guide, that's for the previous year. Yeah, yeah, Remember, think, we are covered in 2022. Yeah, I think, Senator, oh, you're, you're, reading, you're reading the, 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 other one the wrong year. No, 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 yeah. Give me the uh, yeah. But you said it is recurring. Uh, Chair, even as uh, they look at no emergency, you increase uh, the time, the whole year. You spend 15, and I believe, Chair, the exchequer issue now should not be the reason. No, we can't accept that it is because of exchequer. At least they would have spent like 50 or 60 or 70 million to assist the people of Carissa. Otherwise, what's the use of the fund? Yeah, because yeah. the previous year, that is 2021, we had the same issue. But in that case, they gave, instead of 100 million, they gave 80 million. Uh, which means there was a shortfall of 20 million. Yes. Then the following year, nothing this guy. The following year, nothing at all. Yeah. So maybe, Governor, uh, you know you are not there, but uh, does it mean that there was no emergencies in uh, 2022? Well, I, I, I can't really, I mean, recall exactly what, uh, what emergencies were there in that year. But uh, I think the point is, uh, if, I mean, lo logically, if you have a fund established, uh, if you have a fund established and, uh, you know, uh, accordingly um, recorded for budgeting, then it should be funded. That, that's the whole thing, I think, which in this case was missed out. Yeah. But I, I think for the, for, just for the purpose of, of, of clarity, the 15,000 is just later fees that the bank charges from the account. It's not really money, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, disbursed to the account as such. Yeah, yeah Chair, um, just to maybe refresh the governor's uh, memory, he said he was not aware of the, at that time, I think that was the period when we had a very severe drought in Garissa. Um, and I think the question is, uh, as asked by the senators previously, um, what was the rationale of the county government not allocating funds to the emergency fund? And we had a very severe drought at that time. From Treasury to the CRF of Garissa County. Yeah. So that we can we can also ascertain that the delays from Treasury actually constituted the shortfall of the 20 million. So the control of budget, would you be able to do that within uh, 14 days? Uh, Chair, I want to confirm to this committee that uh, the role of uh, uh, dispersing money to counties is actually from Treasury, but we can check our records and assist on that. But actually that should be Treasury that should give that information when they released these monies to the counties. Since Treasury is here, is not here today. It's here. Oh, <laughs> Treasury has come. So Treasury, uh, can you provide that information within, within that period? Much of range, Chair. Yeah, in the next 14 days.